what's up guys today's video we are letting the person in front of me decide what I eat for 24 hours so it has been a hot minute since I filmed this video and I feel like it's finally time to bring it back again so for breakfast we're gonna go over to McDonald's because I feel like McDonald's breakfast is just classic comforting fast food breakfast so I will see you guys over there all right you guys we are at McDonald's I'm a little bit nervous if I'm being honest but hopefully we get something good hopefully the work is nice and they understand what I'm saying. <laughs> good morning, Daddy. Can you order, please? Hi, good morning. I would like to get the same order as the person in front of me. Which one was it? I'm not sure what they got. Are you able to pull it up? Give me one second, see if I can figure it out. Okay. Hey, it'd be 2546 first window. Okay, thank you. $25 oh my goodness they got a lot of food they also got a large coffee with five cream seven sugar like I know McDonald's coffee is strong but who you trying to get that sugar that sugar rush today <laughs> okay good morning when you sit sitting there and you which car which card I just take yeah I know it's a little confusing sorry <laughs> but I appreciate you pulling it up he pulled up here and I said, I asked him what he had and he said, yeah, that's me. And I said, well, she wants the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> Thank you, you too. Large coffee? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. All right, you guys. McDonald's bag has been secured. Are you guys ready to see this breakfast? I'm super excited. I also have a receipt, so I will read you guys off the order here. All right, you guys, here is the McDonald's bag, and this is what I got from the person in front of me. So they ordered three steak and egg cheese bagels, one sausage egg cheese McGriddle, and then a large coffee with five cream, seven sugar. He must be very hungry this morning or he's bringing food back to the fam, which could be, could be the case. I can't see anyone eating three steak, egg, and cheese bagels. That's a lot of bagels. Let's try the coffee first though. Okay, five cream, seven sugar. I'm a little nervous. I mean, McDonald's coffee is strong, so maybe, maybe I'll like it and he's onto something. Oh, it's hot. Okay, it is quite sweet. It's a little bit sweeter than I would want it, but... I mean, it's not bad. It doesn't taste like it has seven sugars in it. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I think it's just because McDonald's coffee is so strong. You gotta load it up with cream and sugar for it to taste like normal coffee. On to our ginormous bag of food. We have one steak, egg, and cheese bagel. We have our McGriddle. Guys, I'm really excited about this McGriddle. The McGriddles are so good. Okay, we got two steak, egg, and cheese bagels. And then we have our third steak, egg, and cheese bagels. Wow, this is a lot of food. Okay, first thing I'm gonna try is the sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle. Just because I love their McGriddles, I already know I'm going to love this item. Ooh, it's so hot and fresh too. Okay, so there we go, looking very delicious. Mmm. So delicious. I love the McGriddles because they're the perfect combination of sweet and savory. Now my personal preference is the chicken McGriddle. If you guys ever go to McDonald's breakfast in the near future, get their chicken McGriddle if you haven't tried it. It's so good. I mean, this is good too, but chicken McGriddle is just like mm, perfection. It's like chicken and waffles almost. Mm-hmm. That man knows what's up with this item. Okay, now we're gonna try the bagel, but let me cleanse my palate with this coffee. Ooh, didn't McDonald's recently bring back their bagels? I feel like I read something where they didn't have them for a while and then they brought them back, so that's the bagel. Oh my gosh. 
that's actually really good the steak patty is super juicy and then the egg is also pretty juicy the bagel is soft this makes for a pretty good breakfast sandwich oh wow mm -hmm. there's no way this guy is gonna eat all these sandwiches we got this giant thing and then we got these that is a lot to eat in the morning there's no way right he had to have been getting food for the fam Okay, between the bagel and the McGriddle, I think I prefer the McGriddle. But at the same time, if you are a bagel lover, you would really enjoy this. This is solid for a fast food bagel breakfast sandwich. Mmm. That was breakfast. I will see you guys back here for lunchtime. All right, you guys, it is now lunchtime, and I think I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A for lunch. I feel like Chick-fil-A is a good option for these challenges. We are now at Chick-fil-A, and I realized I didn't tell you guys what I was behind for breakfast. So for lunch today, we are behind a Mercedes. It's a really nice Mercedes, actually. It says it's a ML550. I don't know much about the Benz, but I like this one. I think it's just one woman inside. She looks like she means business, so hopefully she gets us a good lunch order. Hey, Hi, I'm good. How are you doing? Doing all right. Kevin, name for the order? Daisy. Daisy. What can I get for you today? Um, so I actually wanted the same order as the car in front of me. Is there a way to get that order from her? The car in front of you? Yeah. Uh, she had a mobile order. Do you remember what it was? No, I'm not sure what she got. Oh. Uh, Sorry. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, one. that one. Do you know what she just got? Sandwich. Is that good? Yep, perfect. All right. 1072 total. All right, you're all set. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh man, whenever he said mobile order, I was like, shoot, that makes things so much more complicated. I actually don't think she got like the car in front of me did not get a mobile order, but I guess the last person that he took got a mobile order. Cause you know how at Chick-fil-A they have a bunch of different people at my location, they like move back and forth between lanes. So yeah, I thought this would be a non-complicated spot to get it, but now I'm like, this new age technology makes this challenge much more complicated. Hey, hey yes. There you go. Thanks, have a good day. All right, you guys, Chick-fil-A bag has been secured. I'm super excited about her order. He read it off to me. I think I'm gonna take it out for you guys so y'all can be surprised, but I think she has a really good order. She got some good sauce. So let me get parked and we will dive in to this ladies Chick-fil-A order. All right, guys, here's our Chick-fil-A bag and it looks like she got the three count of the chicken strips and then a Chick-fil-A sandwich with two buffalo sauces. The only bad part, she did not get a drink. I was really, really hoping for a drink. I am mad thirsty. I guess I could go to maybe Starbucks and get what the person in front of me got. I don't know, should we do that? I'm not sure. Okay, here is the chicken strips. Ooh, they look so good. And then she got buffalo. Love me some Chick-fil-A buffalo sauce. So let's go ahead and bite into one of these chicken strips here. Mmm. Ooh, so good. The chicken strips are so juicy. I love their breading. You can't go wrong with their chicken strips. Mm hmm. Next up we have our Chick-fil-A sandwich, which I mean, we all know what this tastes like. It's a classic. 
I should probably dip this in the buffalo sauce. I wonder if that's how she's eating this. Mm. Chick-fil-A's chicken sandwiches. What beats it? I feel like it's the best fast food chicken sandwich out there. KFC is really good. I also like Zaxby's chicken sandwiches. I gotta say, this is a really good lunch. She she did good. I wonder if she doesn't really care for Chick-fil-A sides because if this food is all for her, instead of getting like fries as a side or one of their salads or like a fruit cup, I don't know what all sides Chick-fil-A has. She got the chicken strip. She must be a big lover of chicken, which I feel her. I love chicken. It would have been really good to get their, I think it's like the cool ranch wrap. Whatever that wrap is that Chick-fil-A has. I feel like nobody orders that from Chick-fil-A, but I've had that wrap before and it's really good. I was kind of hoping we would get that, but alas, we got some Chick-fil-A classics. I'm not mad about it. I feel like I really need a drink. So maybe we will go through the Starbucks drive-thru. Starbucks is actually right behind me. Did you guys hear that crunch? Crunchy. Okay, I just saw someone pull into the Starbucks drive-thru, so we're gonna pop in real quick behind them and get their order. It was a Nissan Rogue. Let's go see what they're getting from Starbucks. Thanks, Jason. Starbucks, what can we get started for you today? Hi, I was wondering if I could actually get the same order as the person that just ordered. Uh, it's a mobile. Uh, you want me to just read what it is? Um, yeah, whatever they got is fine. You to be a surprise. Yeah, you can surprise me. All right, cool. All right, and uh, anything else for you today? No, that's going to be it. All righty, and then that is going to be 11 and 5. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm excited. What did she get or what did he get? I didn't see if it was a man or a woman. Hey, how's it going today? Hey, I'm good. How are you doing? Thanks to 1105. Let's stand that. Today. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll take one. Right. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And one of these. Thanks. Have a good day. Okay, I think we got a cold brew, and then what is this? I looked at the receipt, but all I saw was the drink, so I don't know what that bakery item is. Okay, so. Hold on, let me get back part. <laughs> okay, here is the drink. We got a grande cold brew with vanilla sweet cream cold foam. So I guess just a vanilla cold foam cold brew. And that's what that looks like. Oh, that's strong. The foam on top is good and sweet, but their cold brews are so strong. And then we got a cheese danish. Ooh. Oh, this looks so good. Okay. Mm. This is really good. Wow. I haven't had one of Starbucks bakery items in so long and Oh, this is hitting the spot right now. I get their cake pops from time to time, but I never really get their bakery items anymore. But man, it was delicious.
It's actually a really good midday snack, but I wonder if she got lunch or if all she's eating for lunch is a little cheese danish and a coffee. That's like what they do over in Italy, right? I feel like in Italy they eat very light for lunch, like a little danish, a little coffee, and then they go in for dinner time. Okay guys, well, we are two meals down, one meal to go. All right, you guys, we have made it to dinner time. I was in between a few different places, but I decided on Wendy's. I'm actually up to order now. I'm a little nervous, because I think she had kids in the car. Hi, I was wondering if I could actually get the same order as the person in front of me. Um, Yeah, whatever they got is good. All right, that's all they got. Okay, perfect. Alright, your total is on, oh, well, I'll give you one. Your total is going to be 341, please pull around. Okay, thank you. Okay, they actually had a really small order. <laughs> I thought she was going to get a lot because she has like three kids in the car, but maybe she's making multiple rounds. Ooh, we may have to go somewhere else. I know her. Hey, how are you doing? There you Thank you. Thanks, have a good night. You too. Okay, here is our Wendy's bag. It looks like all we got were some french fries. They gave me some sweet and sour sauce. Kind of an interesting choice of sauce for fries. I feel like I heard on the intercom they said barbecue. Oh, okay. It was a big old fry. Looks like we got a large fry from the Wendy's. I was really hoping for a burger, I'm gonna be honest. Should I go to another Wendy's and try again? Oh my gosh. Wendy's fries are so good. I swear, I either crave Wendy's fries or McDonald's fries. Most of the time I crave McDonald's fries, but Wendy's fries are so good. Mm. I was feeling so confident, y'all. I was like, we're going to go to Wendy's. You're going to get such a good order. I mean, this is a good order. Don't get me wrong. This would be my kind of order. This and some chili. Dip the fries in the Wendy's chili. Oh, yeah. That is living good. But yeah, I'm just in the mood for a burger. Hmm. What should I do? It sucks because y'all can't tell me in the moment if I should go to another Wendy's or not. I feel like most of y'all are probably saying, yeah, yeah, Daisy, go to another Wendy's. I could go to Cookout. Cookout could be a good option. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna decide what to do and I will check in with you guys once I figure that out. So I'm at cookout. I decided to try my luck here because I really want a milkshake. Actually, a lot of people come to cookout for milkshakes, so I'm kind of hoping they get a milkshake. If I could end off this video with that, I would be so happy. But I feel like we may just get a bunch of food. I am behind a Toyota Tundra. There's at least two people in the car. I don't know if they have kids with them, but I did see at least two people. And they're kind of, they kind of been at the speaker for a while. So I'm kind of thinking they're getting a lot of food. <laughs> if I end up getting a lot and no milkshake, oh man. What can I pick out, man? Take order. Hi, could I actually get the same order as the person in front of me? All they got was a mocha cake and a throw on float. Okay, perfect. All right, six, Okay, thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so happy. I didn't quite catch what they got, but I think they got a milkshake and a float or something. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, wow. It all worked out. Thanks, have a good day. Oh, I'm so excited you guys. Okay, so we have da, 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 da. I think this is a mocha milkshake. All it says is mocha and the sticker is a bit faded So I can't quite tell but I think it's a milk 
mocha. I think it's a mocha milkshake. And then we also have some sort of float. I think it's a cheer wine float, as you guys can see. Sticker's quite faded, but I believe this is a cheer wine float, which sounds very interesting. I'm gonna try the mocha milkshake first. I don't even know, I may have to use a spoon. Ooh, that's good. It has a very subtle mocha taste, like just a hint of it, but really good. I've raved about Cookout to you guys many times before. They have the best milkshakes. Out of anyone out there, you just cannot compete with Cookout. Now let's try this cheer wine float. I don't really drink cheer wine, but it could be interesting. Ooh, oh wow. Oh, wow, wow. Okay. I don't like that as much. It definitely tastes like cheer wine. I don't think I'm a cheer wine lover. I need to get my Wendy's fries. Ooh, we can eat our Wendy's fries with our mocha milkshake. You guys see inside of there? You know, it kind of tastes like the Frosty from Wendy's, but way better than the Frosty's because this is like real ice cream. Oh yeah, that's tasty. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So, so, so good. This guy beside me is also eating in his car. He's munching on his cookout. I wonder if he got a milkshake. Man. Now, if you guys do ever go to cookout, I personally would recommend the peach cobbler milkshake or the banana pudding milkshake's really good. Anything with peanut butter is good. But I think the peach cobbler is my favorite milkshake there. Banana pudding with peanut butter, that's a good combo. A lot of people love their peanut butter, so that's kind of like a good go-to if you don't know what to get. Mmm. Wow. I'm so happy, you guys. Cookout was a success. Thank you to the person in front of me, even though you will probably never see this. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Well, I think that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed seeing me let the person in front of me decide what I eat. Most of you will probably see this video after the 4th of July, so if you celebrate it, I hope you all had a super fun and safe 4th of July. I love you guys so, so much. Please drop a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.